Hi students, I am Priyanka Jain and I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. You can watch several of my plus classes. Okay, I have soon started a catalyst batch course for the whole inorganic chemistry. You will see all the inorganic chemistry in this course and this is for the upcoming June 2022 exam of the CSIR net as well as for the GET exam, okay? So if you want to see different of the my lectures, different courses, you can see on the Unacademy. Take the subscription of the Unacademy. And if you want to see the free classes, there are also several free classes. Every month I take several free classes. You can watch these free classes without taking subscription. So for this, you will have to uncode my code. My code is Priyanka Jain 10. By clicking on this code, you will get the link for my classes. Thank you. Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the test series of questions, especially for the incoming CSIR net and GET exam. This is the question from GATE 2020. Okay, so now see here, what is the question? Question is basically from the thermodynamics, the del G not F and del H F for iron gas are 370.7 kilojoule per mole and 416.3 kilojoule per mole at 298 Kelvin. Okay. Assuming if del HF is constant in the interval of 250 Kelvin to 375 Kelvin, del G not F for FEG at 375 Kelvin is. Okay. So what thing we have given? We have given the value of del G naught and del H naught at the 298 Kelvin. Okay. And we have said that this del H F naught remains constant in this whole temperature range of 250 Kelvin to 375 Kelvin. Now we have to find out the value of del G F naught at 375 Kelvin. Okay. So question is very simple. What you have to do? Just see here, del G naught, we know what is the formula del G naught is equal to del H naught minus T del S naught, okay? This is the formula, right? So, just you can put here del S naught, okay? Del S naught at 298 Kelvin, at 298 Kelvin will be equal to del H naught minus del G naught divided by T, okay? So, just you have to put the values here 416.3 minus 370.7. This values are given in kilojoules per mole. Okay. And we can find out the entropy in the joules per mole. So, now we are multiplying it with the 10 to power 3 so that it is converted to joule per mole. Right. Now, divided by temperature 298 Kelvin. So, we are getting this value will be equal to 153 Joule per Kelvin. Okay. Now we have to find out the value of del G naught at 375 Kelvin. So we know that the del H value will remain constant. So you can put here the value of del H naught minus T del S naught. Okay. So put this value. This value will be equal to 416.3 into 10 to power 3 right minus this value of will be equal to 375 into 153 okay so you are getting the value will be equal to 359 into 10 to power 3 joule per mole okay so now convert it to kilojoule per mole so it will be 359 kilojoule per mole okay so, this is the answer. Now, you can match this option number A. This is the right answer. Okay. So, this is the answer. Now, see the next question. See here, the next question is again from the thermodynamics for the ring opening reactions of cyclopropene to propene at 25 degree centigrade, the pre exponential factor is 4.3 into 10 to power 15 second inverse 1. The entropy of activation in joules per Kelvin per mole is okay. We have to find out the answer round off to two decimal places. Okay, so now see here one thing for the entropy of activation, you have to use this formula k is equal to kbt upon h e to power del s star upon r e to power minus del h star 
upon RT. Okay. For these formulas and for more details, you can see our videos of thermodynamics and of the chemical kinetics. This particular formula is from chemical kinetics. You can see these formulas. Okay. Quick review I have made of the chemical kinetics. I will give you the link in the description box so that you can see. Okay. So this is the formula for the entropy of activation. Now you know one more formula for the Arrhenius equation. We know K is equal to A exponent of minus E naught upon RT or EA upon RT, right? This value and this value is same. If you are comparing these two equations, this will be same. And this A, A will be equal to this factor, okay? So we can write A is equal to KBT upon H E to power del S star upon R, okay? So now you can put here the values. When you are putting the values, what you are getting? 4.3 into 10 to power 15 this is the value of pre exponential factor this is given to us okay and kb kb we know we have given here boltzmann factor 1.38 into 10 to power minus 23 okay and temperature temperature is given to us that is 25 degree centigrade so put its value in kelvin 298 kelvin then divided by planck's constant 6.6 .6 into 10 to power minus 34 multiplied with exponent of del s star upon r value of r is 8.31 okay now the question becomes very simple you can do the calculations if you are doing the calculations your answer the value of del s star will be around 46.10 okay this value you will get in joules per kelvin okay this value will be in joules per Kelvin. So, this will be your answer. Okay. In this way, you have to do the questions. Meets you in the next videos with some more lectures, with some more questions. If you are liking these values, please comment us and please like the channel. Thank you.